My name is Dan Fuller. I've been here in Guyana for five months. I am the principal of Farima Adventist Mission Academy. Hi, my name is Cliff Brooks. I've been involved with BIIC for nearly the last two years, and I am the director of the program. My name is Todd Anderson, and I've been in Parima for four months. I am the pilot and mechanic, and teacher, and plumber, and electrician, and builder, and groundskeeper, and whatever else they need for me here. Hi, I'm Laura Fuller. I have been in Parima for about five months and I'm teaching English at DIIC. Hi, my name is Justin Hayden. I've been at, here at DIIC for eight weeks and I'm a farmhand. I'm Cass Anderson. I've been in Parima five months and I do promotions. Hi, I'm Ben Fuller. I've been here at DIIC for five months and I'm pretty much a slave. My name is Amelia and I, and I have been in Guyana for five months. The hardest thing about being here is being away from friends and family back home. Learning to do with what you have. The hardest part is trying to do our work with little children climbing on us. Here, get down. The hardest part about living in Parima is dealing with chairs with no cushions. The snakes and that and those kind of bad things. Doing your laundry under the solar dryer when it's raining. Not having internet, so we're very isolated which makes it hard to communicate with the outside world. We don't have internet and we also don't have enough electricity to run the radio. The best part about living and working here in Parima is the fact that I know that God has called me here. The best part about living here is waking up to the sounds of the birds, the fresh air, um, and I enjoy the people here and the fact that I'm serving him and making a difference in people's lives. That's really the best part about living and working here. The best part is the endless nature to explore and the animals, the monkeys, the sloths, all the birds. The very best part about being here in Parima is having my wife and my son here with me. However, there's lots of side benefits that I could really go into the best part about living here is the opportunity for new experiences. As you can see, I'm situated in a secret location on the DIAC campus, surrounded by the flora and fauna of the beauty of Parima, Guyana. With all the sunshine and light and play around to get your energy out and uh, the beautiful mountains that surround us, the tropical breezes that blow through, the warm winds and the uh, tropical rain. The best part about living in Parima is getting back to one with nature. The best thing about being here in Parima would be the river. We get to float down about a quarter mile through rapids and rocks. It's just a lot of fun. What's it like to live here in Parima? The gravity works. There's lots of bad things about living in Parima, like the insects, it's hot, um, but all those bad things are outweighed by all the good things. So overall, it's great living in Parima. It's a joy. It's peaceful. My morning starts early. I spend time with God amongst the sights and sounds of nature. Life here is a slower pace, yet there's no end to the work here. There's no modern conveniences, so everything is made by hand. Bread, tortillas, muffins, everything. It's not coming from a store or from mixes. I make it all from scratch. A day in Parima is not any typical thing. You do laundry between doing wash, between teaching school, um, sometimes you're running off to the village to take care of a medical emergency. It's stressful. How do you teach to children that have never been taught before? Living in Prim is great. You get to hear all sorts of sounds, monkeys, bugs, birds, and then you have bird, little birds that come at your window 4 a.m. and wake you up every morning. And it's 
It's a blast. The people here are very friendly and it makes it a joy to live here among the Amerindians. It's stressful. How do you grow food for a school when it rains too hard or when it's too hot and dry for the seeds to sprout? Every day is interesting, sometimes uh, figuring out what you're going to make, how are you going to alter the recipe because you don't have all the ingredients. So cooking is very creative. It's peaceful. We feel God's presence here in many ways. If you're thinking about coming to Prima, don't take a second thought, just come. We need you. If you're thinking about coming to Prima, do it. I would tell somebody coming to Prima, Guyana, not to stand in a nest of these guys. If you're thinking about coming to Prima, just Get on a plane and come down fast. We need you. If you're thinking about coming to Parima, it's good to know that it is a bittersweet place. It is very rugged and can be difficult to live here. But on the other hand, it's wonderful because the only thing to distract you from your relationship with God is you. If someone is thinking about coming to Parima and they're interested in growing closer to God, it will definitely happen here. We need your help, whoever you are, whatever your skills are, whatever your talents uh, set that, that God has given you, we need your help here. If you're coming to Guyana, you'll be sure to want to bring your camera, your binoculars, a close relationship with God, and an ability to adapt to any situation. I want you to come to Prima. Well, as you can see, our campus is largely undeveloped. Some of our greatest needs are to clear the jungle and build housing, set up water systems. We have a lot of needs here in Parima to run a school. We need greenhouses, we need more solar panels, and we need a lot more staff. The uh, lack of transportation and communication infrastructures. The needs here are an airplane to provide the basic essentials for this college and the people here. Also, we need a better water system. The needs we have on campus, um, both for the PMA students and for our DIIC students, are textbooks. And chair cushions. The needs we have are a better water system, we need textbooks, and more consistent air support. So, we need staffing, we need finances, and we need, we need the prayers of those who are interested in seeing God's work go forward. Can you think of something we need here? We need Jesus. The best thing I've brought to Parima would have to be my anti-diarrhea medicine. Well, the first thing that I brought, that I use all the time, of course, is my Bible, my favorite Bible. In fact, I have a few favorite Bibles and I keep them in different stashes and I'm not going to tell you where those are. I'm really glad I brought my camera and my computer. We brought a couple of Coleman LED lanterns, which I just happened to use one of those last night, and I'm so glad that we brought those. Barbecue sauce and my swimming suit. Um, pretty much my babies and that's it. And our water filter. We brought down a uh, Katahdin water filter that um, theoretically uh, you can dip uh, water out of a mud hole and pour it through it and then drink it. And we really like that kind of I am glad that I brought my family to Parima. And my Skittles and ramen. Cloth diapers and my chai tea. My pressure cooker is our most valuable item that we brought. And crackers and club sandwiches and anything you can bring from the States. It's great here. Things I should not have brought, my sweatshirt. Well, when I got here, I found that I didn't need my swimsuit. The ladies don't use them, so we swim in our skirts and our blouses. I did not need my tennis shoes. I always wear my rain boots when it's raining or flip-flops when it's hot. The one thing I didn't need to bring to Parima would have to be my Cabela's sweater that I brought. A toaster oven! A 22-inch uh, LCD flat-screen TV. 
Always check the toilet for frogs. Always screen your aircraft passengers for weapons, drugs, and creepy crawlies. Always keep containers sealed. Always take time to thank God. Always check your shoes before you put your feet in them. Always check the rice for bugs. Always watch out for spiders. Always check for cockroaches. Always carry a flashlight and a machete. Always have vitamins in the day. Always come prepared to preach a sermon. Always watch out for snakes. Always wear your shoes. Always check the shower for frogs. Never sit underneath a coconut tree. Never trust a frog in your shower. Never ever talk to strangers. Never leave laundry hanging on the line overnight. Never sit down on anything without looking at it first. Never go to the toilet at night without a flashlight. Never walk to the farm without your machete. Never go to the toilet at night without toilet paper. Never get excited when Laura screams her head off because she saw a little bitty ant. Never complain about your wife's cooking. Never leave home without your toaster oven. Always start your day with Christ.